Researchers from the American Institute of Physics in Maryland have designed vacuum suction cups that allow man and robot alike to defy gravity and climb walls even if they're scaling a rough surface. Previous vacuum grippers can't maintain suction on rough surfaces because of leakage. The researchers use a zero pressure difference or ZPD method that maintains the vacuum by using a high speed rotating water ring between the surface and the suction cup. Now, we all know that grippers have potential in many industrial applications, but what we really wanna know is if we can use them to scale the Washington Monument. The researchers tested their unit with three different suction sizes and applications. On a robotic arm to grip and handle objects, on a hexapod wall climbing robot, and as a Spider-Man like wall climbing device with a foothold dangling from the cups. That's bold. Now, the researchers say they were Spider-Man style grippers, but as you can see from the video, they aren't scaling walls as quickly as your friendly neighborhood web slinger. I mean, maybe the geriatric version from Rain. Either way, they're probably burning out those arms just sitting there waiting. Last year, Caltech researcher Li Hong Wang created the world's fastest camera. It can take 10 trillion pictures a second. It's fast enough to capture light traveling in slow motion. Now, a team of researchers has created a new camera. This one only takes 1 trillion photos per second, but it can take pictures of the invincible. In recent tests, the camera captured a shockwave created by a laser striking water and a pulse of laser light traveling through a crystal. Wang calls it phase sensitive compressed ultra fast photography or P-Cup. And it's a combination of his previous camera and phase contrast microscopy, a 100 year old technology that images how light waves slow down and speed up when entering and leaving materials. The technology is still in development, but it has potential in biology, chemistry, and other fields. Wang hopes that one day he can harness the technology to watch as signals travel through a network of neurons or flames as they spread through a combustion chamber. He wants to see us think. This last one comes to us from Chuck in South Carolina, who emailed us this story with a single sentence. I'm not sure this is a good thing. A team of researchers from Tuft University has used frog stem cells to create, quote, entirely new life forms. According to the researchers, these are the first living robots. A report from The Guardian via Futurism says that the xenobots are only a millimeter wide, and they're made by assembling skin and heart cells harvested from African clawed frog embryos. The skin cells are passive, and the heart cells expand and contract to propel the xenobots. An algorithm configures the Xenobot's shape for a specific task. For example, giving it a shape that would help it move forward, or giving it a spot for microscopic storage. Because they are made of biological material, the Xenobots can heal themselves, and after completing an assigned task, they can be programmed to self-destruct. Right now, the Xenobots live for about 10 days, but unlike metal or plastic counterparts, they're extremely biodegradable, cause you know, they're people, frogs for now, for now. Next, the team is discussing adding additional senses and other capabilities, even eyes. Like previous nanobots designed before them, they hope that the xenobots could one day clear human arteries, clean up the oceans, or even remove radioactive waste. In the surprise of the century, the research was funded by DARPA. But if you're worried about the robot apocalypse, you can calm down. A student on the project told The Guardian, it's hard to fear that these things are taking over anytime soon. What do you mean soon? When is, what is soon? You know what, Chuck? I'm not sure it's a good thing either. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.